Hello and welcome to another Street Photography video with me, Nick Turpin. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up my Fujifilm X100F for street photography. So I'm a relative newcomer to Fujifilm cameras. I bought my first Fujifilm X100F about three years ago. Um, I was shooting a job for a property company in Peckham in South East London uh, with a couple of Leicas, which I'd been using for about 17 years. Um, and basically, uh, one of the Leicas failed and was gonna take about seven weeks to get repaired. So uh, without much research, I went out and bought, um, I basically bought the Fujifilm X100F because it had an optical uh, viewfinder, uh, which, which I thought would be similar to the Leicas that I was used to, and I thought it would be an easy transition for me. Um, you know, in the end, uh, I went back out on the streets with the Leica and the Fuji and I ended up shooting the rest of the job on the Fujifilm camera because I found it so eager to take pictures. Um, I found it so small and discreet and quiet. And I loved the EVF. I fell in love with the electronic viewfinder, which, um, you know, showed me the exposure, the white balance, uh, the focus point, it just showed me the framing, everything that I needed to know was there in front of my eyes. Um, um, you know, basically everything that I share with you in my point of view videos. And I absolutely loved, uh, loved that. And that, to me, that is the great uh, advantage of, of the new mirrorless, um, you know, mirrorless cameras. Uh, so I shot the rest of the job on the Fuji. And um, basically, at the end of that, I, I got rid of my Leicas. And I just realized that these days, you know, you really don't need to spend £6,000 on a camera body to take extraordinary photographs to have a great camera. And um, for me, that's the, uh, that's the strength of the Fuji cameras, that they are you know, absolutely top flight quality cameras, but a reasonable, you know, modest price point. And, you know, I think, I think that's absolutely fantastic. And for somebody like me who's investing equipment in, you know, other areas, um, you know, I, I make films as well. So I have a lot of audio equipment and, and 4K video cameras and so on, lights. Um, you know, this is a great, a great advantage to me. So what I'm going to do to today is, um, you know, share with you, because a lot of you have been asking me in comments and emails and messages, you know, about, about how I set the camera up. So. Uh, I'm going to share with you my settings for street photography. I think a lot of the things I'm going to share with you today probably apply to other makes of camera. So things like back button focusing, which a lot of you know, street photographers and documentary photographers use. Uh, things like turning off the sounds, the autofocus illumination, anything that's going to give you away on the street. Those kind of things are going to apply whether you're using a Sony or a Nikon or a Canon or whatever. Um, but I'm going to show you, I'll go through the menus on the Fujifilm here and show you how I set this camera up for street photography. Okay, I'm going to start with exposure and one of the great features um, that's been introduced in a lot of mirrorless cameras now is the floating ISO, auto ISO. Um, uh, so this is very useful for the street photographer because we want to set our shutter speed fast enough to freeze movement in the street, around a thousandth of a second or so, and we want good depth of field as well. We want like f5.6, f, f8, f11 to get, get everything sharp front to back in our pictures. Um, so this allows us to set those two things and have the ISO float up and down to compensate for the exposure. So in the Fuji menu, if you go into the, um, the camera settings and down to ISO auto settings, uh, and in there you can set, um, th there's three auto settings that you can have, um, and you can set those as you wish. You can define those. So here's auto setting one. Um, so for this one, for example, you can see that the default ISO is 400, and I've set a maximum of, of 1600 I said so the one that I use um, so I've set auto 3 that's the one I use and I've set that um, to a maximum sensitivity of 3200 so that means that my ISO won't go higher than that um, and I think that's probably a good threshold uh, between you know giving you what you want in terms of shutter speed and aperture and but not losing too much quality in using too, too high ISO so that's that's the ISO setting that I use now, you really want to be able to see what the camera is doing. Um, so you want to be able to see the exposure and the white balance um, in the viewfinder, in your EVF or on the LCD screen. So um, for this, uh, you need to turn preview pick effect off. So if you go down to the settings here, to screen setup, and go all the way down here to preview pick effect. So that you're gonna have set to off um, so that the camera is showing you um, a live view of the correct exposure. Likewise, just above, uh, the preview exposure and white balance in manual mode, I have that set to show me the exposure and the white balance. Next, you're gonna to want to tell the camera where you want it to take the exposure from. So if you go back up to camera settings and into photometry, you're going to want to set that to multi so that the camera is taking an average reading from the scene from multiple points rather than center weighted from a spot in the middle. Now turning to focusing, um, 
Now, pretty much every street and documentary photographer I know uses back button focusing. Nearly every camera now has a button uh, that you can use with your thumb at the rear. Uh, some of them come programmed as default to focus with that button. Others you have to set up. In the Fuji, if you go to the setup menu and you're going to go into button and dial settings, if you pop into there, you're going to scroll down to AE AF lock mode and you're going to set that to AE AF on when pressing. And that's going to allow you, that's going to separate out shutter release from focusing. That's going to give you focus control with your thumb and shutter release with your finger. Um, so basically it's just giving you, giving you control over those two things. This means you can focus on what you want and you can take as many pictures as you like without the camera refocusing as long as you have your finger on that thumb. So we're going to have to have that set. Okay, hand in hand with that, you're going to need to tell the camera what it is in the frame that you want it to focus on. Do you want it to guess from multiple points or do you want to tell it, I want to focus on this point in the middle? So you're going to go up to the AF, A, uh, AFMF menu and uh, go into AF mode and you're going to set that to single point. So whatever's in the middle of the camera, when you push your finger on the back button, it's going to focus on that thing. Then you can recompose and take all your pictures. So while we're in the AFMF menu, uh, we need to tell the camera that when we push our finger, uh, our thumb on the back button there uh, and it focuses, um, it doesn't keep on focusing. When we recompose the camera to take our shot, it doesn't refocus. It stays with the original one that we've set with our thumb. So we have to go into instant AF settings and we're going to set autofocus single, not autofocus continuous, autofocus single. While we're in the AMF MF menu, um, I'm going to go into focus check and I'm going to switch that to off. I don't want the camera taking a picture when it thinks it's sharp. I want it to take a picture when I push the shutter button. So I have to have that off. So one of the most important things with pretty much all cameras on the street is you don't want the cameras bleeping at you every time they focus on something. So if you go into the setup menu and into sound setup, um, I pretty much turn everything off here. So the autofocus beep, um, that's off. That's probably the most important one. Um, um, I have all the other things, shutter volume uh, off. Uh, the shutter sound I have to absolute minimum, just so I can hear that a picture's being taken, but nobody uh, can actually hear the camera firing, um, you know, even, even a meter away. So um, you want the camera to be silent, that's very important. Now in terms of image quality, um, like most professional photographers, I do shoot in RAW. Um, so if you go to the image quality settings and image quality uh, in that menu, um, that's where you can tell the camera the quality of the pictures that you want to take. Um, above here you can take a raw file as well as a normal size JPEG or a raw file as well as a fine JPEG. Um, now obviously the benefits of shooting raw files are, are great. Uh, the Fuji's make an extremely good uh, JPEG actually, um, probably better than most cameras, but uh, just in terms of being able to rescue highlights and shadow detail later in processing, I shoot everything in raw. So in terms of using the camera practically on the street, I'm going to be shooting in manual. Um, this means that I'll be setting the aperture, I'll be setting the shutter speed, and the camera will be working out the ISO to compensate. Um, I'm going to be aiming generally for about f8 on the street, um, probably 500th to 1000th of a second. Um, you're going to need at least 500th of a second, even to, to freeze somebody moving, just walking left to right in front of the camera. Uh, so, you know, 1000th of a second is going to be your safest bet if you have enough light for that. Um, you're not going to want the aperture ring on A because then you'll be shooting in aperture priority. So you're going to have that on one of the actual aperture settings. Uh, as I said, F8 would be a starting point for me when I first arrive somewhere. Um, uh, and then, of course, you do need a way of making your pictures brighter or darker. If the camera is misunderstanding the scene, uh, misrepresenting, you know, a pale background or something. For example, if you're out in the snow, the camera is going to think it's brighter than it is. Uh, then with your thumb on the bottom, top right hand corner here, you can, you can assess an exposure compensation. Uh, you can add, you know, a third of a stop, uh, two thirds of a stop, whatever. Uh, and you can see me doing that in quite a lot of my um, point of view uh, videos. Uh, and now the back button focusing is the other really crucial thing. This is the AF lock button on the back of the Fuji X100F. And you can see that um, basically I'll be pumping with this uh, and, and these two buttons all day really. Um, this is going to focus the camera on, on the center point. I can recompose the shot, take as many pictures as I like, and as long as I've got my, my thumb on this button, um, the, the focus point will remain where it is. Um, so that's another, that's another crucial setting. So I hope that was useful, a rare technical video from me. Uh, in the next video we will be back out on the street resuming normal service, uh, taking pictures. Uh, so now you're all set up, I suggest that um, you grab your camera and get out there. <laughs>